Once clicking onto the storage link, it'll bring you to the home page. At the bottom, it says client logon. Please press that. I'm going to use Joellen's user for training purposes. And I'm going to secure login. We're in the QC uh, department boxes, and these are the two boxes, 97345 and 97369, that have been stored. And if we want to look up certain boxes, if it's multiple pages, you can look up the box by the box number. That's on the manifest, and you keep that manifest um, to reference what you have stored. You can give it its own identification box. You can make that same box, the box number that you have description of the box, something that's in the box. Uh, the file span, that would be um, the, the records, what type of records, say it's from 2014, um, bill leading, something like that. Start date, end, end date, you can do a range rather than just the file span. This information is for you and it'll identify individual boxes. This, this is indicates the status that it's been stored and the location it's stored in. And you can retrieve boxes like this. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to store a box and I have a box number here. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add this storage item. Again, we come into the lookup view when we come onto the website initially. And then we can add something by pressing this add. The different types of boxes. The 1.2 box, and that is like a storage white box, and that's usually the primary box. My box number here is 97406. Again, I get that from the label and the manifest. I'm just going to make it the same box. And again, this is only a sample, so we're going to put test in here. File span, 2015. Um, date range, the date range it's at, so let's say um, January, so let's do 01, 01, 2015, and end range is 01, 31, 2015. If you do not want the box to be destroyed, but you don't need it after a certain time, you can add a date to have it destroyed. What we're going to do is we're going to add this in by pressing the Add. And if you have more boxes, you can use the more boxes. You can use the different, um, you can keep adding boxes over and over again. But once you want to check, check out, you press the Check Out. This is an indication of where they're picking up the box because the warehouse really needs to know where they're picking up the box. You can select another location, add another location. We're going to pick up the box at quality control by changing by these buttons. You can change the different locations. So we're going to select the location. And this is an order number, an order number that prints in the warehouse and the warehouse will come up and they'll get the box using this order number. This is how they know that there's a box pending in the warehouse. Now what I'd like to show you is how to retrieve a box. Let's go back into uh, the lookup. And what I'd like you to notice is this one is pending pickup, but these are already stored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these two here, and I'm going to have them brought back to me. And I'm going to retrieve them. Notice the retrieve here. Okay. Now, if this is a retrieve. You can also, this retrieve will bring it to you. Retrieve and remove, retrieve and destroy. It's whatever you select. And I'm going to select retrieve. I'm going to use the checkout button. I'm going to say where it's being brought to. Again, you select the location. And you're going to get another order number. That's going to get you your boxes, and they're going to be returned to you. If you press on the storage, you'll see the retrieval. It's pending, and it's a request. This is how you use a storage company. You can, um, if you have any problems, you can call quality control. 
631-439-2148.